Are you in a community, Misty, where there is one central hospital and you don't have many choices in terms of your health care? Yes, sir. Um, it's the only hospital. We'll, we're very rural right here. Uh, it's the only hospital that we have. The next closest one is about 45 miles. Uh, depending on traffic, it'll take a good hour to get there. And, you know, when, you're, when your kid's in pain or having a hard time breathing, you don't want to wait an hour to go get medical care. Marty, I want to ask you, you've done a lot of research on this. Are other hospitals doing this? Is this a common phenomenon? So we just published a study in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, showing that most hospitals are good. But 36% of hospitals in a large sample will aggressively go after people to sue their, garnish their paychecks. These are low income. These are pay, paycheck to paycheck people. These are our own nurses. Or like Misty, who's not, who is a nurse with insurance. Right but cannot keep up with, uh, I'll call them mystery bills, and ha has her wages garnished for it. So uh, what are they, are you talking to these hospitals? Like yes. when you go and you talk to them, what are they saying? What could they possibly say to justify what they are doing? Well, I'll tell you what, we are calling out these hospitals. We just called out one that had sued 25,000 people. That oh, whoa, wow. come on. In a town that by census data has 28,000 people in it. Come on. That hospital and my students at Hopkins, some of whom are here, came with us and they said, Marty, we're going with you. And we went right to them and said, stop doing this to people. It's predatory, it's not right, it's violating the public trust. There are patients at home, sick and scared to go to the hospital because of the billing. And when hospitals were built, they had a charter to be a safe haven, not to do this. And that hospital announced the next day they were going to stop all lawsuits against patients. And Misty, I thank you not only for coming on and sharing your story, but the work you've done as a nurse. And before we let you go, Dr. McCary. I'd uh, like to let you know that we're going to take on your case along with the New Mexico Center for Law and Poverty. Thank you. Thanks, Art. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. The Doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.